Hello and welcome to the Saturday's edition of Crack the Cryptic uh, We're going to look at the deadly killer Sudoku from the time. So, you have seen Mark and saw one of these yesterday. Uh, it's my turn today. Normally these are quite enjoyable and they get harder through the week, so this should be the most challenging that we'll see. Um, so, let's have a quick look here. See too much straight up. I mean, there is a. Um, we should be able to get this number here immediately, uh, very simply. Uh, we know that every column and every row in a Sudoku must sum to 45. And we've got 13 plus 10 is 23, plus 17 is 40. So we know this must be a 5 in order to ensure that the, uh, the column works. And because we have an 8 and a 9 already in the 17 box, this 18 here needs to have 13 more in total in these two cells, and the only way that's possible now is with a 6, 7. Uh, so we now know that the remaining cells on the bottom left hand 3x3 three three box must contain only the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 in some order. We also have a 10 box in 4 cells here. Now, those of you who do Kakuru, will immediately know that there's only one way of making 10 in four boxes, four cells, and that's with one, two, three, and four. So we can actually fill in all of the possibilities now in column one, which uh, might prove to be useful in the course. It's just a quick look and see if we can see anything else obvious. There's a seven, nine here in the 16 box. And another one, two, three, and four in this, uh, this ten box here. Let's fill that in. Get that. This eight box is a little bit restricted now because it can't contain the numbers one, two, and three in this position. It can only contain five, six, or seven. That's the sort of thing I would bother to note, just you know, just in case it might be. Still, we can still see here there's we're starting to get quite restricted in this 3x3 three three box now. We've still got to place a 7, 8, and a 9 in this box. And yeah. Hmm. Can't quite see how to do that yet. And we can see also this 5 here. Not terribly helpful, but we know it's going to contain the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 in some order. And because of all the restrictions we've got in this bottom row already, we've actually now got four cells that contain the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. So if you like, this is four different cells and four unknowns. So we know that uh, the other numbers in uh, row 9 here must be 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Well, we've already got 5 in here. We've got a 6, 7 in here. So this is 6, 7, 8, 9. 6, 7, 8, 9, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. And in the absence of anything particularly clever, um, you'd note this 8 here, 8 box in 3, must contain a 1. Uh, and it's either going to be 1, 2, 5, or 1, 3, 4. And it's interacting a little bit with this 6 here, so I think it might be just worth checking what that can tell us. If this is 1, 2, 5, this could only be a 4, and this could only be a 2. If this is 1, 3, 4, uh, this could be a 2 or a 5, and this could be a 1 or a 4. So again, we're starting to get, we haven't quite got the same restriction in column 2 that we managed to find in row 9, but we're, we're, we are closing in on it. 
and we should also know that there's a 1 in one of these positions here. Similarly, in the absence of anything better to do, I'd probably be noting that the 6, 7, 8, 9 have to go in the 15 here and here. Again, just trying to hone in on a restriction. We've almost got one now in column 9, but not quite. Oh, there's one. There we go, six, seven, oh no, sorry, I was reading the 15, it's a two cell, but it's a three. And in fact, the seven, nine here means that this can't be a seven, nine, so this must be a seven, nine in the bottom, this cell here. And then you can use the geometry of the bit grid maybe to make a bit more progress. If you, if you draw an imaginary line across the grid here, just where I'm showing you with the cursor, and you draw another one here, I hope it's obvious that we should be able to isolate the value of these three cells. Because we know that these two rows add up to 90 because they'll contain the numbers 1 to 9 exactly twice each. And we've got 19 plus 19 is 38, uh, plus 14 is 52, plus 9 is 61, plus 23 is 84. So we know that these three numbers here must sum to 6 um, in order to make sure that these two rows in total sum to 90. Well, what does that tell us? Well, it doesn't tell us a great deal, but for example, we can now conclude this cannot be a 4. If this is a 4 and these three cells have to sum to 6, then this would have to be a 1 and this would have to be a 1. Well, that's not possible, so let's remove that as a possibility. Um, now, could this be a 3? Now, if this is a 3, these two would have to be both 1 and 2. If this is a 2, uh, we can add a 3 to that. And if this is a 1, these two would have to add up to 5. So we get 1, 2, 3 and 4. We get another 1, 2, 3 and 4 possibility in this 9 box here. Um, still not quite enough to make uh, make more progress but I think this puzzle it feels to me like we're going to have to do these itty bitty things in order to try and um, uh, you know enforce more numbers and we can use some Sudoku logic here in fact on this top box here let's ask ourselves the question where are the eights and nines going in this box well this 8 and 9 here are very crucial because they are blocking the 8 and 9 going into these two positions. So the 8 and 9 have to go here and here, um, which allows us to fill in another number. This now has to be a 4. Now this cannot be a 4, and therefore this cannot be a 2. And you can also see now we have a another quadruple along, this time along row 2, so we've got 6, 7, 8, 9, 6, 7, 8, 9, 6, 7, 8, 9, so we know that the other five cells in row 2 must contain exactly the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Um, so this number here would have to be a 2, 3, 4 or 5. Still can't quite work out which version of the 8 we've got here. Let's use the fact that we've got a 4 here. We can now eliminate this as a 4. And then we can use Sudoku logic again. Um, so we have an 8, 9 here, and an 8, 9 here. So we need to place an 8 and a 9 in this uh, middle 3x3 three three box. And there's only two places where the 8, 9 could go, and that's in these two positions here. Which means we know there's a 7 over on this side of the grid. And then again, we've got one of these sort of quadruples of six, sevens, eights, and nines in the same column, this time column two. So the only possibilities for this cell now are also one, two, three, four, five. Similarly for this cell. One, two, three, four, four, five. And in the interest of being logical, this obviously can't take a one. 
uh, because that would mean these two cells have to add to 18. This can't take a 2 either, because if it does, both of these two cells would have to be 8 and 9, which is not possible, because we've already got two 8s and 9s in this 3x3 three three box. Uh, I think 3 is possible, so that's as far as we can go. And we can eliminate a 4 or a 5 from this box, because we know that if this 8 is 1, 2, 5, then this will take the 4. And if this is 1, 3, 4, this will take the 5. So in either of those situations, we've got to be able to get rid of the, uh, the 4 and the 5 here. And then I guess we can use the fact that this 4 has locked an 8, 9 into these two cells in another way. Now let's take a look at columns 2 and 3. If we look at columns 2 and 3, we can, should be able to see we can isolate the value of these three cells that I'm highlighting. With exactly the same logic as we've used before. We know the two columns must sum to 90. We've already got 17 plus 6 is 23 plus 19 is 42 8 is 50 that's 21 is 71, plus 13 is 84. So we know that these three cells here have to sum to 6 in order to make sure that the columns sum to 90. Now, to get 6 in three cells in the same column means that they must be 1, 2, and 3 in some order. So we can actually remove... We know that these cells are 1, 2, and 3. And therefore, this cell here is definitely a 4, which actually allows us to make a whole load of a whole load more deductions like that. This can't be a 3 now, or this can't be a 5. Okay, and now again, if we now look at column 2. We've now got a 1, 2 here, a 2, 3 here, and a 1, 2, 3 here. So again, this cell here cannot take a 3. It must contain, we can remove that 3 as a possibility. And in turn, that allows us to do a little bit more work on this box here. So we can now see these two cells can only take... We've got 1, 2, 3, and 4 already used up. We've got 8, 9 already used up. So this is 5, 6, 7 in some order. We can add 5 and 6 to these two cells. Now, ask ourselves the question, can this be a 5? Well, if this is a 5, this will be a 4. And therefore, the box will break, because this cell here would need to be a 10. So that's not a 5. And can we do something similar down here, I wonder? I don't think so. I think 5, 6, and 7 are, are all possible there. So that's a shame. But again, it's a bit of a grind, this one. But we are slowly managing to logic our way through it. And there's actually a nice bit of logic here we can do on, um, can do on row 1. Um, this 7 here is, is the nice bit of it. Because we know that this 7 can't contain a 3 because we already have a 4 um, in the row already. So there's no 3 here. There's no 3 in any of these positions. So we know that there's going to be a 3 in one of these three positions. Now if that's the case, you can immediately see, I'm sure, that this definitely can't contain a 3, because there won't be two 3s in this box. So in fact, all of that allows us to prove that this is a 2. And that's a big breakthrough. Because now this 8 box here is definitely 1, 3, 4 in some order that we don't know yet. But that allows us to conclude this is a 5. And therefore this is a 1. And therefore this is a 4. And now what do we need these two to add up to? 15. So actually that's still all possible. To this, this 9 is now getting quite restricted. Let's just have a quick look at what this could be. Um, looks like 1, 8 is possible. It might, it might not be, but I can't quite see why it wouldn't be. 
two, that's not possible. Three, no, this can't be a three because we know we know one of these two is a three for certain because of this box here. It can take, you know, it has to, there has to be a three in this box. And we can see it is in row three, so this isn't a three. This isn't a four. It could maybe be a five. Can't see why it couldn't be a five. Can't be a six. Can't be a seven because if it's a seven. This would be a 2, which would clash, can't be an 8 or 9. So this is a 1 or a 5. Um, okay, so now this 7 box, now we've got a 1 in here. We know this is a 2, 5 in these two cells somehow. 2, 5, 2, 5. And therefore, I think this box, and we also know there must be a 7 in one of these uh, three positions actually, because there's no 7 yet in this box. So the only place a 7 can go is in the top line somewhere. And if there's a 7 and a 3 in this top line, we know that that's 10, plus 2 here is 12, so there must be an 8 in this top line. Which means there is not an 8 in either of these positions, which means this is an 8. And this must be a 9, this must be an 8. This 15 box now is forced to be 6 and 9 in some order. Uh, I don't think we can quite see which way around it goes, but and this can't be a 3. This must be a 3. And this must be a 7. I suspect that, that we've now sort of cracked the main difficult step of the puzzle. So now we're left with placing a 1 and a 7 in this box here. This definitely isn't a 1. This definitely isn't a 1, obviously. So that would be 8, which means we need to make 11 from what's left. We know this cell is a 2 or a 3, so this is an 8 or a 9. And over here, we've already got a 1 and a 4, so this has to be a 5, and this has to be a 4. I wonder if that helps. Oops. Uh, oh, no, I didn't want to put a 7 there. That's a mistake. I don't quite know why it's making me write in things here. Sorry about this. So, yeah, there we go. Let's get rid of that. Uh, so this isn't a 4. Let's just take a quick look now at column 9. We can see we still need to put a 1 somewhere in this box. So we know it's in one of these two positions. Oh, and in fact we have a 1, 2 and a 3 here. So the 1 must be here. Which means it's not in the 5 box, which is nice because we can then... So this is definitely 2, 3 and now this must be a 1. This isn't a 1. A 2, 3 and this must be a 4. Three, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Let's count the one. This can't be a seven because we've got to make these two add up to fourteen. So it's oh no, I just typed in a load of stuff I didn't mean to there. Uh, I think I think this was six, seven, eight, or nine, wasn't it? Six, eight, nine. Now, because it can't be a seven, because that would make this a seven as well. Uh, so this has to be a six, eight, or a five. All of which, unless I'm missing something, seem to be still possible. And you can see by simple Sudoku logic here, we still need to place a four over here in this box. We've got a four here and a four here. So this is in fact a four means we can fit in a couple more numbers up, up at the top there. These two have to sum to 15 now, which means we're left with 6, 7, 9, because we already have an 8 in the column. And, well, in fact, if this is going to 
add to 15, it now has to be 6 and 9 exactly because we can't use an 8 in doing the sum. So now we can remove the 6 and the 9 from all the other places in this line and therefore this must be a 7, this is a 9, this is a 7 and this is an 8. Okay, therefore this is a 9 and this is a 6. You can see now for Sudoku logic again we have a 6 and a 9 here. Now this 6 is going to force a 6 into this box into one of these three positions. Therefore these two cells have to be 6 and 9 in some order. We don't know which order yet but that's the only possibility. It can't be an 8 obviously. It must be a 6 and a 9. Uh, if this is 6 and 9 uh, this can't be an uh, Six. Yeah. Only an eight. This now this has to be a three. And you can quickly see that this twelve box now is forced. Can't be four eight, can't be three nine, so it's a five seven in some order, and we already have a seven here. So in fact, this is a seven, this is a five. Which means this cannot be a five, which means now finally after all that we're able to say that's the five and that's a three. Therefore this is a two. Therefore this is a two. Uh, so these two have to add to 15, that's still, oh no, therefore this is a 6 now. And this is a 9, and this is an 8, and this is a 7. And this is a 9. Now we already know we've got 8 plus 9 is 17, therefore this has to be a 2 now. This is a 3. And the puzzle now is solved um, in terms of all of the, uh, the trickiness, if you like. Um, we'll carry on just solving it for the sake of good order, but um, another very good puzzle today. Um, it's, uh, you know, it required some quite careful consideration and uh, less geometry than we've sometimes been able to use. Um, but we've got there in the end and uh, yeah, I hope it's been uh, useful to see you know, a puzzle of this difficulty solved on the channel.